Good morning. I'm Terry Wurzbacher, and today I'm going to talk to you about steps for doing prayer therapy. We get this question all the time. I'm new at this. Are there steps to doing prayer therapy or for asking for what I want? And the answer, of course, is yes. At first, it seems to work better when you identify a formula in steps, and that's what Anne has done for us and broken it down. At later point, when you get used to this, it'll come naturally. Anne recommends five steps, which I'll show you today. The affirmations and information that I give you is just a sample. You'll be able to create your own with your own steps as you ask about them in your own way. You need to pour a feeling of love into your asking as you relax into the feeling of contentment. You can read and use this sample, I'll post it on the website, until you feel comfortable making your own affirmations and statements. You need to let yourself speak as if you were speaking to a very good friend, kind of like I'm talking to you today. Step one is to identify with God, your life force, energy, spirit, Christ, higher power, whatever it is that you call the inspiration that guides you. You say, the spirit within me is my guiding wisdom. I am one with this spirit. I listen, I hear, I know, I trust. Step two then is claiming with affirmations and remember that these are just examples. I choose to live a life of health happiness, and prosperity. I choose to claim new inspiration for the direction of my life. I choose to attract the perfect job where I'm surrounded by delightful people who appreciate my abilities through praise, appreciation, and constantly increasing income. I choose to improve my health through good eating, good exercise, and good friends who think as I do. I choose comfortable life, in a comfortable home, driving a comfortable car, and I choose an understanding the activity of God in my life. Step three is to listen. You give the universe time to talk back. You don't have to go deep. You just have to sit and listen. You sit for a few moments in the silence. That's unusual in this day and age, but it's important to be silent. At that point, you'll listen to any hunches you may have and you write them down. Don't ignore anything. It'll mean something later when you start to put these hunches together. Step four is to praise. You praise the universe or God's spirit, higher power, for what it has given to you in the past and what is already on its way to you. That's so important. Know that it is coming to you. Praise every event, even the not-so-good ones that you've learned from in your life. And at some point, it wouldn't hurt to go back and look at these, other, these events that have occurred and see what good has happened from them. Praise your teachers, even though you may not have understood them well and maybe not, didn't even like them. Praise yourself. Now that you have more wisdom, more joy, more peace, well on your way to your heart's desires. Give thanks. Remember, the affirmations above are just suggestions. You can add or delete to make it your own inspiration. This should take the less than five minutes throughout the day. At night, take a little longer, sit in the silence a little longer. It would be most productive if you took several times throughout the day for short affirmations rather than to sit for hours at night. It keeps you focused and adds much to your day. The purpose is to learn that you don't have to go deep. Remember, the energy doesn't go anywhere. When you recognize the energy is constantly moving around you, you appreciate the constant feeling of always being in touch. You can enjoy more of this information at everydaynewthought.com. Take care now. <laughs>